Hello everyone and welcome to the second video from the CSI Detail version 18 series and in this video we are going to uh, see more about the UI of this software. We were having options file edit view that I have told you earlier in the previous video about all, of, all, all these things. Now in this video we will look in the, this detail menu okay. There's detail menu is having a very uh, useful options you can say that we can use in our drive. Uh, previous than that uh, I have already opened a model in it okay. We will continue to learn in the upcoming videos that how we are going to open any model in it. For at this point of time I'm just showing you that we are already having a file here and it is currently logged like same as that in ETEPS. I will unlock it. I'll press OK. After detailing it uh, always locks your drawing. So I have just opened our drawing. Now if you go to detailing option, first option we are having detailing units. And what kind of units you want the detailing? If I click detailing units, then it have a bunch of options. If the pro project is not unlocked, these options will not be changed or they, this can't be changed, okay? At this moment of time, our project is unlocked and we are having a bunch of options here that what kind of units you want. Let's say, uh, I'm an engineer from the place where the lens are considered in feet. Okay, so I need the length to be in foot or I need the US units. I can select the US units from here and then I'll press OK. Okay, but it won't apply at this point of time here. Okay, why? Because this detailing has been already done. These things are in meter. To change it into the foot or to change them into the US customary units, we need to start detailing again. So there is an option from the toolbar here that is start detailing. If I click start detailing, it will ask me that the detailed drawings already exist. Do you want to release these drawings? I'll hit yes, okay? Because we want new drawings to be generated, okay? So I'll click yes, and it will start generating new, new drawings. Okay, we will wait till it generates all the elevations and sections of all the frame sections okay now now we can see that the distances are changes into the feet okay so this is how you can play with the units and you can change the units if you want to now if you again don't want this now you can see the drawing is again unlocked you first need to unlock it okay to change its units back to the meter unlock it i'll press okay I'll go to detail, detailing units, I'll select metric, I'll press OK, and again I'll start the detail. So, your drawing and your dimension will be preserved from the ETAB model. So, it won't be a problem for you that a changing unit will cause your drawing to deteriorate or some kind of change will be there. No. You can see the 4, 000, 4 meter is again here. Okay, 4.0 meter, that is 4 meter. Okay, so this is the detailing unit option. Next, we are having rebar sizes, means what kind of rebar sizes the software is taking. If I click it, it will show you a bar set. It is having a set of bars already uh, defined in this software. It, uh, if we see this bar, that is the bar ID is 10. Bar ID 10 means it will have a diameter of 10 mm and it will have a bar area of 79 mm square. You can calculate manually it by uh, doing the calculations that by uh, pi divided by 4 multiplied by the square of the 10 you will get this area that is the cross sectional area pi by 4 multiplied by d square okay so you can uh, get this uh, area from here also so these are kind of the by default bars that you are going to use here so no, no need to change it if you want to add something you can add common bar set and you can again uh, add in it what you want if you want the si you can add the SI okay so whatever the set of bar you need you can add okay see at this point of time I was having this 6 to 50 bar then I just add again so 6 to 50 is again add up as per India so I don't want it I'll press cancel at this point, this point of time okay so these are rebar sizes you can also add the uh, rebar set from the US customary and the Canadian and the US soft metric okay uh, for example, if I select Canadian, I'll press OK. Then you can see the bars are like this 10M. The 10M bar ID is having a bar diameter of 11, 
15 is having 16. So if you have any need of it, then you can add it. For Indian students, I will I need to uh, say that key, this 6 to 50 bars are quite enough. Okay, just cancel it. Now for the third option that is grid system to include if i click it it will say what kind of grid system you want to include in your drawings as my model is uh, having only one grid your model can have a multiple grid system you can select here that which you want to include by default the one available grid is already included if i don't want to include it i can make it go into the available option and if i can select it if i click this button it will be included in it okay so I'll cancel at this moment of time. Our drawing is totally locked, so I can't press OK and all that. So these were the three options that are quite useful in it. The unit option, repair sizes, set, and the grid system to include. For detailing preferences and for the typical rebar set, I'll make an, another separate video to show you all these options. And then we are having add modify section property. And for this also, I will also make a different video. So for this video, this is it. I hope you like the video. If you have any question, please do write in the comment and please do like, share and comment. Thank you.